Saturday, October 15th. The park is open and the neighbors are here. They're enjoying the new park. The dogs are getting used to it. Let's take some pictures and talk about Mark. Hi, good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll close this one for you, all right? I'll close the other one too. Just go on through. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm coming in. Thank you. All right, so here we are in the new park. And my old friends. Morning. Hi. Hi, Caroline. Okay, so here's the new, the new walking path. Let's take a panoramic view. A lot of these people I know by sight. I don't really want to put them on camera. But uh, the Miami Herald in their reporting of this park redo said the existing walking path was upgraded. Now, this is all brand new. It's very nice. I'm not sure the dogs appreciate it. But it's a walking path. There was never any walking path here at all before. A lot of these trees are new too, newly planted. All of this uh, liriope or whatever it's called, this grass and the <coughs> Bermuda grass or whatever that is, it's all new. All the shrubs. This is a new tree. The palms are all new as far as I know. That's new. There are dozens of new trees in here. And it's going to get torn up rapidly just because of the nature of dogs. Hi, puppy. Hello, puppy. You can see already just the way the way dogs are, and it's new sod. This is all brand new sod. Can you see? Can you see the mud hole there? Uh, and, and, and do they run with their tennis balls? They like to romp. There's enough open greenery for the dogs to enjoy themselves, but it's going to be a continual upkeep cost $141,000 and here's a dog dropping in the middle of the shell path <clears throat> sure it's an upgrade for the neighbors and they all deserve it they all work hard but then there are an awful lot of people that can't afford to stay in their homes to pay rent can't get jobs $141,000 like I say there never was a path here in Miami Herald in your report, you said the path was upgraded. There never was a path before. This is all new. This concrete coping was all... Uh, they made forms and they poured hundreds of feet of concrete coping and then filled it with thousands of pounds of crushed shell. See me on YouTube, okay? Sarnoff and Welch. Okay, so here's the little walking tour. I'm almost done. I guess eventually they'll put some uh, furniture for people to sit down. These shrubs, I have the same. Hi, puppy. Hi, hi. Hey, good morning. Hey, hi. Okay, eventually these shrubs will grow up. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. That's why I wore clothes like this. Uh, I mean, we need a park for our dogs, but these shrubs, so they're going to grow up eventually, and tennis balls will be lost in them. Dogs won't be able to walk through them right now. They can walk through right now because they're just plantings. It's going to be very expensive to maintain. And you know what? It's all, it's all for Mark's front yard view. He's the one that gets the better. He gets to see the dogs and the people and the shell pack and the puppies scrambling. It's all for Mark Sarno. See me on YouTube, Caroline. Mark and Reed. Thank you. They're very nice people. Mark, I will be hanging out here at your park. You see, I don't harass people like you do. You had a cop chase after me yesterday. You, you, you shooed me from the park. You, you, you lied about a restraining order. You had two bully cops make me leave. And one of them chased me. And then he assaulted me, Mark. So I'm going to file a complaint against you for that. You're a liar. You're a cheap suit. You're a thug-directing criminal. I'm so disappointed in you, Mark Sarnoff. I should get a restraining order against you. You're the one that sent a cop out to shoot me dead. And one, you sent him to assault me yesterday. I'm now going to go collect some more Sarnoff signs. It's a beautiful park and beautiful people and beautiful dogs and I love it and all that, but it wasn't justified to spend all that money and make a formal garden for your home and in six months we'll see what this looks like.
it's going to be a bloody mess. Good morning. Okay. Saturday, October 15th. Yesterday when I was chased away from the park, I went down this street to head to the Home Depot. I wasn't chased, I was ejected, but the cop followed me. I stopped up here for a moment in the middle of the street, because there's no traffic, and chatted with a couple of neighbors and told them about my YouTube protest video against Sarno. The cop came up behind me and turned on his PA horn. He says, Reed, you're blocking the street. Move on. You're harassing the neighbors.